Test, test. Test.
Alright, hello everybody. Welcome to the first Halo match of the year. Um, we are in against the Baxter Lions for first match of the year. Oddball on recharge, that is Baxter Lion's pick for the objective mode. We ban Street when they decide to choose recharge. Coming up right now, we do have Mango holding the ball, getting 10 points up. Arrow with three kills to start off. Sync Agony picking up another. Baxter pushing into this yellow, but they are going to be shut down. Two go down for the team. Agony getting the information that Baxter is going to be pushing from top yellow side. Arrow guarding the entry in from A. Mango gonna get damage in on him, but he backs out. There's a kill coming in from Mango as well. Pushes out to the top platform, but the double punch going to come in for Jagged Power. That might be entry, but shut down is going to be all of Baxter. That's four down, and points continue to rack up for Bosco Tech here, just holding the ball in this top area. We do have Arrow holding down towards the front area. Off off. Shots coming in on that bottom double. It is going to be a full push from the A site for Baxter as they are pushing in, but going to be cutting mid. See if Bosco can read this. He hops up onto the ledge, does not realize there's two coming in from A site, but gets the punch. There's one kill. Mango drops ball, not able to pick up the last one. Back to that name, he must be happy, but uh, Dion, a new addition to the roster this year, coming over from Overwatch, is uh, one of our dual players playing both Overwatch and Halo, so is going to be the last line of defense in this top yellow. They do get ball out. We do have Agony taking it into top C ledge. Bosco continuing to rack up the points, 65 to 1 currently here against the Baxter Lions. Lions just not able to find pressure onto the map, but as I say that, there comes two kills, but the shot's coming in from Agony. Finds one, finds the second. There's only two now up for Baxter, one coming fresh off a of respawn. They're going to need to transfer over from this top A into doubles, but Agony with a great nade out of him. He's going to be pushing up into this top cat. Finds one, looking for the second, gets the shots in, but... You know, thought Baxter was going to take that fight, and they did not. Agony able to find it. Arrow able to find another. And this round just going Bosco's way. Already up to 85 points to one. Bosco is looking very good right now. Bit of a split spawn here for Baxter. You are going to see a push into the bottom double. They are going to try and pinch this from the C site. But with only five points left, they got to go, and they got to go now. Dropping down is going to be Dion still holding the ball, and that's going to be round one. 100 points to one for Bosco Tech a great start to the year so far. Oh, I need to swap the scoreboard. There we go. Oh, I need to drag that over too. Sorry for that stream. Bad scoreboard on my part. Right off rip here, we do see Bosco grabbing ball, gonna have five points here. Uh, pulling a bit of double duty for me today, I am observing as well as casting. Uh, don't have a casting to us, uh, we do wish our caster Jose good luck as he does have a baseball match today. Um, Luis Camacho just not able to get here uh, early for the Halo matches, so. Coach pulling a bit of, actually triple duty as he will be step as I will be stepping in the coach uh, in between games here, but Baxter. Coming off with a decent uh, start to the second round here, getting a lot more points than they did last one. They're taking the ball over to the A site, which is a nice default setup, but the kills are going to be coming in from Bosco. I mean, great movement there out of, I don't know, is it opponent cast? I'm just going to call it the on cast. Coming from cast right there, I mean, great to step up, get that punch in. Damage now coming in on the guy top balcony, gets the kill, but falls himself. Now we do have arrow. Top A ledge just watching this whirlpool, but they are going to be pushing through double into Mango, who is holding ball. Mango just going to be holding it, maybe looking to get a punch in, maybe two, but we do have Agony now finding the kills in bottom cat, stopping this push from the double side and C side. Sees one more, gets the shots in, knows there's another one following, hops up top elevator, decides to go back down. Arrow now coming over to help, finds the shots, they find one kill. 
cast playing all the way on the top yellow just a great spot from him just shutting down getting initial damage on the baxter as they try and push in the site but baxter slides in right into the gun of mango as he drops ball and finds that final kill cast just getting a ton of damage in here from this top yellow spot baxter not able to even get near the ball right now as all these shots are just ringing in from neon ryan cabral AKA Sync Agony also playing this bottom cat area. Sees the AC pop, not able to find the kill, but there are going to be three players down in bottom mid as they find it. But the points continue to rack up for Bosco all the way up to 90 points now. And if it's just 10 more, I mean, that's going to be one of the fastest map ones this team has had in a while. But Mango is going to fall, but Arrow finds one, finds two, possibly looking for a third. There's the slide out from Baxter. Shots coming in. Gets the damage in, shield's gone, and there goes Arrow to a nade, and that's going to be a clear for Baxter as they find the final one on the Agony and are able to pick up ball and start getting some more points here. They need to play the rest of this round perfect, otherwise they are going to fall. All Bosco needs is one more break, six seconds of ball hold time, and there's the kills. A friendly nade, though, comes in and kills Mango, but the shots are there, the team's there to follow up, and there's the final ball hold for the game. Bosco takes map one. Absolutely great performance out of the boys. We do see Ryan Cabral with a 19, three and 10 performance. Just phenomenal out of them. Get a little, uh, a little replay going? Oh, I don't have, oh, I do have, yeah, replay save. Yeah. See a little replay of that end, end of the match there. We cut over. Phenomenal out of them. Get a little, uh, a little replay going? Oh, I don't have, oh, I do have, yeah. Great map one out of Bosco, though. Phenomenal map one. I mean, they just play that to perfection. That, that setup on that top A site when you do have, um, one player just sitting top yellow getting those initial picks that's it makes it so hard because you need to push in and get ball but you also do need to clear that person top yellow so just a great setup from bosco as they're able to hold off baxter just phenomenally there at the uh, on that second round to secure the map we will be right back uh waiting on map two as we choose uh picks and bands for map two um it is going to be slayer and i will take a short break just to go talk to the team and we'll be back in the action soon
All right, so we do have our next map. It is going to be Aquarius. Aquarius Slayer, a map that we do know, I think, pretty well. Um, I'm trying to make sure I can get it. Nope, that's too much. I'm going to try and get the face cams going here. Um, bit of a late setup, I'm sorry. That. Set up uh, cams. How's oh, that? Did they say to match it? Did they say to match it? Uh, yeah, Query Slayer. I mean, just a great map out of. Out of Bosco, that first map. I am going to switch to top view, so we will hopefully be getting in soon. Um, do have some tech issues on the side of Baxter. They are trying to solve uh, some tech issues on one of their machines. So once those are in, we will be getting right into the match. Um, thank you everybody who is uh, tuning in. Uh, great map one, and we are up uh, one zero to start the year.
um, and play R. Oh, I need to. Yeah, that's my bad stream. Um, I'm gonna really lead here. Uh, for Bosco, just a small one at a four to three advantage. We will see a lot more team play coming out here. Um, especially after that round one, I'm looking for Baxter to kind of play a little bit more around each other. I think they had a little bit of a solo pushes, um, just kind of getting caught out from the team. Um, where Bosco is just playing a lot more around each other. I mean, that is of the most important thing in Halo. So we do see shots coming in from Baxter here, able to get a couple players weak, but they are going to rotate over towards the switch side. But there's going to be two kills, Jagged Power with a punch, followed up by a kill with a gun, and that's going to be tie game now. Baxter ties up 7-7, seven seven, finds another kill, and Baxter with a lead 8-7, to seven, but slowly... Oh, sorry, quickly, uh, even back up once again by Sync Agony right there. Now we are going to see him playing this top center area. All four of backs are going to be rotating over towards this fridge side. A lot of shots going in. Nades flying in from the side of Bosco, but there's going to be one kill for Agony. Does not find the other, but break shields. Arrow not able to follow up and find the final kill. So now we are going to see Cast here pushing up the bottom blue. Uh, courtyard area, followed by Mango, who does have that OS, switching over to him. Shield still half alive for the overshield here. Find him to be a little more aggressive with this uh, extra health here as he pushes up into this front area to find two attachment players just sitting there. There comes the nade help from a teammate as well as the shots, finds the kill. OS now going to be burned out. He is weak, he's one shot, going to be just kind of trying, trying to play his life here. Nade comes out, throws another one, just hoping to help his team as he backs up, looking for the assistance. And here comes Cast, pushing up right there, as we call it. They nade out the back bridge, but there's not going to be one. And Mango just slides right in front of that nade as it hits him in the back. But Bosco finds all three kills in that yellow courtyard. The final player for Baxter now alive on top plant, and he's going to fall as well for Arrow as he finds the kill. Bosco starting to extend this lead a little bit. 19 to 14, quickly turns into 21 to 14. Baxter are playing a lot, lot better than they did in the map one. Just a lot more uh, cohesiveness coming out of the side of Baxter. They are playing a lot more around each other, which you do like to see. Bit of a um, adaptation from them, and that's what you always want uh, coming out of map one. Also. So you are going to see them just kind of hanging back in the spawn, making Bosco be the be the aggressor, choose how they want to push, but just great shots coming out of Bosco as they are going to find just three headshots. Last player alive, now in blue base, he is going to get pushed out. There's one player, there's two, there's the punch and arrow able to find that kill. Jagged Power follows up with a kill for his own as he comes off spawn here though. Baxter are going to be spawning in this back bridge area. They are going to try and play for this overshield here. Bosco with a little bit of pressure and there comes the overshield. It pops but punches ringing in and they're going to burn it. They're going to find the kill. Cast able to find one with that OS but Bosco just gets slayed out. Mango the first one alive. Going to look for information here. Sees one back yellow fridge. Couple players from Baxter slowly rotating up towards this top mid area. 28 to 23, Baxter is hanging in this. Bosco not able to really extend it to a comfortable lead here. There's going to be shots in. That's going to be shield down for Agony. He reach out low with the help of a teammate, and Mango finds the kill. But Agony gonna fall there as you get the peek from Baxter and bottom plant. Still just kind of hanging out in the spawn, letting Bosco be the aggressor and come to then. This can quickly turn into a stalemate, but knowing Bosco, they do like to play aggressive. They do like to push up and really find those kills. So backs are trying to use it to their advantage here as they wait in the wait in the back line of this yellow base area. There's shots coming in. Jagged Power finds one. Alien finds one. But Mango finds two. Gets the shots. Gets the melee. But he is going to fall. The Paladin. Baxter still just six kills behind, make it seven, but that's where they've stayed this entire game. An early lead, but a bit of a, a reversal for Bosco as they start to extend this out. Baxter's hanging in it. This is a new team that we have not played before, so new to this season, um, I believe. I, I don't believe I saw them last season, or at least we did not play them last season, but... A team that seems to be good in the Slayer format. I mean, running around as unit, um, right, they are able to find a lot of those trades. They're not getting soloed out as much anymore. And here we 
have shocks ringing in from top mid, but cast trying to make a sneaky play here, trying to get up into base where they're all hiding. He's one gonna get some shots in, but he's gonna need to back up. Crack shield, but his shield is low himself. So we have Mango once again with this OS, just gonna push right into base and find a kill. And the last player alive, Baxter, also going to fall to Mango. Bosco starts to extend their lead, 40 to 28. Bosco just needs 10 more here. Actually, we're looking to play up towards this top plant. One player is going to be weak, going to fall back for the help of this team. And they are going to do just that, finding the kill on the mango. But Agony, looking at that mid rotation, finds the kill on the Jagged. Still hanging out in this back yellow fridge is Baxter. Arrow going to push in here, looks for the punch, finds the punch, and that's another one. Now six kills remain on the side of Bosco. All that's needed to go away for the map 2 victory and lead 2-0 into map 3. Here we see Arrow pick up the BR. Here now coming out of two hall, Bosco finds one, but Baxter finds one right back. 45 to 32 now. Mango pushing in on the flank. Finds one, finds two. Arrow finds a third. It's now 49 to 32 as the fourth kill comes in on the side of Arrow. Mango leading the way with 18 kills, seven deaths. Agony himself with 17 and eight. Great performance out of those two and Agony's gonna find the final kill. 50 to 32, Bosco now up 2-0 going into game three. It's a great performance out of them. Bit of a shaky start there with Baxter just kind of hanging in it. Baxter even getting a one kill lead, but Bosco not letting it get in their heads. Able to extend their, their lead out once they had it and they just didn't look back. But a much better map I will say from Baxter. Compared to map one, um, I believe we got scored 200 to around, I think it was like 20 total points um, on the side of Baxter. I mean, they, they did look a lot better in that map too. A lot more cohesive play from them. So, did see some improvements. Very interested to see uh, what improvements we will see going into map three with an, an objective game mode that's uh, not just solely focused on kills. So, waiting on those... Um, on that mode pick as well as the map picks uh, to come in and we will be back for map three.
All right. Map three now coming in. It is going to be Argyle CTF. Not my favorite CTF map. Not gonna lie to you. Um, I would have rather seen like. Uh, Um, or an Aquarius, but not the worst map. Uh, very symmetrical, which is always nice. Um, we do like symmetrical maps, makes it uh, easy to get around. But sniper gonna be back on the spot when you see a snipe coming in. But great shots out of Arm Paladin after getting hit by a snipe to find that kill. Bosco already pushed up in the base though. Great shots coming out of Arm Paladin once again finds the kill on to Mango. And we are gonna see a bit of a kill lead now for or. Actually, even now, Paladin with three, four total for the team. Going to slide out towards this right side. Bosco now going to rotate towards the middle of the map. Mango top mid, getting shot from behind. Finds the punch to at least make him weak. Cast with a possible follow up, and Dion gets needed out though. Ryan Tanada and Ryan Cabral now pushing up on this left side. Here's a nade get thrown out. Is going to get tagged up by that nade. Pushing a, uh, oh, 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 bit of a melee fight, and Ryan Donata comes out on top, getting the second punch in, gets another punch kill on the Paladin, that's going to be two down, possible flag pull, but they're going to be ready for him on this left side, but the heal comes in, not able to get shots in on him while he is 1 HP, just running down the middle of the map is Ryan Donata, now gets flag up, there's the mantle, there's flag in the base, and that's going to be an early first cap for Bosco. A three cap map is Argyle with a great third snipe coming out of uh, Ryan Cabral there. Finds the headshot, gets the kill. Weak now, gonna be backing off a little bit, waiting for that shield to pop back up. Still just in this top mid area with the snipe, trying to hold down some map control. Sees one, tries to go for the hip fire, does not connect though as the shots is a little high. Whips another snipe again and the turnaround kill for Alien, but he's going to fall as the trade comes in for Bosco. Bosco still with some high pressure towards this middle of the map. Sonata going to go to this top area, wait for the player, sees one, gets two shots in, follows, gets the third shot, punches, does not find the kill, but finds it with his gun. Cabral now pushing up this right side, followed up by Monkey Mango. Takes the other team sniper, sees one player, finds the headshot, does not find the second, but they are going to be pushing up. That is a flag touch. That's another kill for Agony. And now they're on the run. Agony getting shot from behind, tosses flag out. Oh, but flag hits the wall. He has to go back and retrieve it. The race is on. Can Baxter get there fast enough to stop the cap? I don't think they can as the shots come in from Arrow, they come in <coughs> from Dion, and that's going to be two caps now for Bosco. One cap is left, and they will take the Series 3-0 and start the year with a 1-0 match. A great shot coming in from Ryan Cabral, able to find that kill. Body shot, not able to find the finishing with the DMR. But the rest of Bosco is going to be pushing up this left side. You do have three people here now playing a huge presence. Arrow, one shot, has to snipe out, misses the shot, but he's going to heal up. That's a flag touch and a flag pull out towards mid. Mango pushing up towards where they're spawning, finds the shots, cracks armor, gonna head him off here, gets the kill, and that might be game. But Arrow actually gets shot from behind. Baxter are able to get some shots in from their base. Now looking for this final pull into base, and I think Baxter just not able to do it, letting them have it, and that is game, set, match for Bosco. Oddball map one, Slayer map two, and a CTF map three, and Bosco walks away with a very quick 3-0 first game of the season. Final stat line coming in now from that last match. Let's see. Seven, five, and three for Arrow. Nine, two, and three for Ryan Cabral. Nine, two, and four 
for Manny and a four five and two for the newcomer Dion. Solid accuracies across the board. Honestly, Baxter Baxter showing some promise of the new team this year. Um, the objective game modes, uh, I, oddball. Obviously, I think they're just uh, not quite as prepared for that. Um, we do focus on on a lot of the objective game modes over here, but they showed some real promise in in the Slayer. I mean, they they were running around the unit. They actually gave us a, a bit of a scare there early. So Baxter, uh, a possible team to look out for as they uh, start to develop and get better and better as the season goes along. Could be one of those just dark horses as you start entering the um, the final stretch of the year, but. A good match from Bosco, just picking up right where they left off with a nice 3 0. Got some stuff we got to work on um, to make it a little bit cleaner, but a uh, nice match nonetheless. Next up, we will have uh, Overwatch here at 4 30. So thank you to everybody who did uh, tune in for the Halo match, a nice 3 0. And we will be back with a stream later for uh, JV, or not JV, sorry, Bosco Overwatch Gold um, in their matchup of uh, BHEL's Division 4. We will see you all next week, same time, for the Halo 